Good afternoon, and thanks for your patience and your endurance. I know for some of you, this may have been a slightly long day, so my closing remarks will be a brevity. You know, in the wake of this pandemic that is exploding throughout the nation, we must be very mindful of the fact that many of us are being confronted with other medical afflictions. Breast cancer is one of them. You know, every two minutes in this nation, a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer. So by the time we completed this symposium, nearly 150 families will be told that a family member was diagnosed with breast cancer. And a number of those women will unfortunately succumb to the disease. So to the extent that the Sister by Choice organization can help mitigate, if not prevent, the death related to breast cancer, that is our stated goal. So each year we bring in experts in the top of their fields regarding breast health care from around the nation to put on this symposium. More than just being informative, we hope that this information is impactful and that will have a very positive effect on patients, their family, communities, and the healthcare communities as well. Now, when you put on a virtual conference like this, obviously there's a lot of work that goes behind it. It's almost like looking at a duck on a lake and you're seeing that duck smoothly go across the lake, you know there's a lot of work underneath the water. So let me take you just slightly beneath the water. I first wanna thank Dr. Johnson for moderating this conference. She did a superb job. We got in contact with Dr. Johnson really at the very last moment. And she was very generous in agreeing to do this uh, conference for us. As we say on the basketball court, or as we used to say when I played basketball, she has skills to be a moderator. We also want to thank Emory University for teaming up with us to provide this platform to give this information out. And I want to give a shout out to Sam, who is the IT personnel behind the scene punching all of these buttons. And clearly we want to thank the board of Sisters by Choice, the volunteers, and also the sponsors. And we, of course, want to thank Dr. Rosberg Phillips for having the vision and the foresight to come up with this idea of putting on a symposium for the community and the healthcare providers. You know, there's a quote by a famous French, 18th century French poet, philosopher, Victor Hugo, who once says, there's nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. So clearly Dr. Phillips saw this idea and that it was time to present this information so it can have a very positive impact on patients' lives. We also want to thank, lastly but certainly not least, Ms. Jocelyn Dorsey. She spearheaded this entire process. She worked tirelessly in getting everybody together with multiple calls, emails. Many of you may know Ms. Dorsey because she has been in the Atlanta market as a broadcast journalist and anchor and editor for many, many years, and she recently retired. So we sort of pulled her partially out of retirement to get this program together, and she did a superb job. I can say unequivocally, if it had not been for her efforts, we would have never gotten this done. So thanks, Jocelyn. I'm going to end by saying that I would like for each of us to do one thing, ask one question. 
when we go back and talk among our circle of friends, our family members, our colleagues, our workmates, just want you to ask any woman close to 40 or over 40, one simple question without being too invasive. When did you have your last mammogram? That one question may save a life. So until next year, this time, please stay safe and healthy and we expect to see you next year. And by the way, bring a friend with you. Once again, thanks. And I think this was a tremendous symposium with tons of information. Allow that to make a change in your lives in terms of how you view breast cancer. Thanks again.